Mark? Yes? I'm surprised you're not recording yourself. What do you think you're doing? Is that my camera or your camera? It's your camera. Well, I thought it was, uh, it was out of memory. Oh, I put a different memory card in it. Oh, you got another memory card? Seriously? There's one in it right now. I figured out that it doesn't take 64. I have to put 8, so... Well, I'm you recording you, Mark. Well, that's good. This is what I... This is what I was wondering. Smarter prepping with Big Jack. Note the bright red shirt without the sun and the blue overalls. See? That's exactly what I was thinking. I need to record this. Look at me aiming down. You can't see? Because <laughs> it's so bright. Oh. So bright shining on you, huh? You've got to you're in the shade or something. Well, oh, maybe. No, I wanted to record this. I definitely wanted to, but I, I had to take the memory off the other car and think so uh, well. And just have to well, what what do you got going on out here? Yeah, this is our this is our raised bed garden. I work at a Walmart store, and they sell a raised planter box half this size for $109. That's the clearance price. So I made this out of scrap lumber, just a lot of time and effort. See, it's roughly four by four feet by four feet, almost almost two feet deep. And then I bought a bunch of clearance price, clearance price plants, vegetable plants, tomatoes and peppers, and clearance priced <coughs> soil. And I got the peat moss that I put in first. Peat moss. Peat moss I put in first, right? Peat moss. Anyway, that's what I put in first, right? And then three bags of this. It claims it's the equivalent of, it's two cubic feet, it claims it's the equivalent of four. It says in here, oh, it's, it's like four cubic feet. See? Oh, how because about that? it's compressed, right? <coughs> it all seemed the same. It seemed like the bag of peat moss and these bags of soil were real similar, except the soil has the perlite and such in there, the little white specks that helps hold moisture. See, I bought plants that already had peppers on it, already had tomatoes on them. <laughs> had to rescue them from their pots. Got the three big, uh, yeah. <laughs> I got the three big uh, tomato plants done first. That one, that one, that one, and then the four little tomato plants. And now for the four little pepper plants. These little ones come in a, in a cardboard pot. That's a mushy cardboard that's biodegradable. <laughs> so it says you leave it, leave the pot in there. It says fill off this outer layer. It says ink off the bottom, maybe. You get the bottom off, right? And then I've, I've been ripping it anyway. Give it a good rip. Mark on there. Give it a rip along the inside. Give it open up a little. And these tomato cages are supposed to be made in squares, but I was trying to economize. I bought two cages to cover. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven plants. I don't know if it'll work. If necessary, I can use a, a screw and attach this to here. Right, that will hold that more stable. Yeah, I can attach it to the side, make it more stable. Yeah, I can attach it here and there. See? Yep. Make the whole thing make these more stable. I don't know if it's really going to work or not. Because you're supposed to wrap on on all sides of the tomato plant, but I got this kind of garden. We'll see. We'll see. Yeah, exactly Smarter prepping with Big Jack with the new red shirt <laughs> and the new blue overalls. <laughs> and I thought, nope, I don't have room in the memory. Oh, too bad. A fancy box cutter from brother in law Michael. Look at those peppers. <laughs> Look at those peppers, see? It says Fresno Chili Heirloom Hot Pepper. So there it is. Already peppered up. <laughs> you can just yank them off now and throw them in the blender. Make vegetable smoothie. See if it'll grow some more, you know? Yeah, and, and this is a serious thing, my dear, my dear YouTube viewers. It's a serious matter for me to go ahead and use uh, raised beds. Although, you know, post-apocalypse, it's going to be a lot of raised beds. 
raised bed. It's going to be a lot of work, a lot of lumber, a lot of raised bed to really feed a family. You're going to have to have how many? Ten or twenty of these? Thirty maybe? At least. Make sure you got enough to really feed a family, even a family of five or ten. You know, you have to do the math and figure how many. But you need a bunch of these, a bunch of these boxes. But Mel Bartholomew, in his square foot gardening, he says four by four, but he goes on the ground. I'm an old guy. I found that if I bend down like this and then come back up, I'm kind of worn out a little bit. I do that many, many times a day. I'm very worn out, okay? So to accommodate people with various kinds of disabilities, Tanya, obese, etc. What about a pregnant woman, maybe, huh? <laughs> you know? And, 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 and so to accommodate everybody with all kinds of various limitations, hey, you're right here. Check that out. You're right here. See? If you can walk, even if you walk, even if you have to come up in a wheelchair, come up out of your wheelchair, hold on here, you can work the garden. You can work the garden like that. It's absolutely ADA, huh? <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's ADA. <laughs> According to my book, that's the interpretation of ADA. Now I got talking a lot of myself, maybe too much room, it doesn't matter. Too much room doesn't hurt. This one even has pepper on it, check that out. <laughs> Have a Sioux hot pepper. That is so nice. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, clearance priced. It's late in the season. Today is July 28th, 2017. <laughs> it's kind of late in the season. Most people say, oh, it's too late to be plant vegetables. Well, these have a head start. <laughs> it's not too late to have peppers on them. Peppers on them already, right? Yeah. Getting shot down here up in the dirt around. Once again, I'm not an expert of any kind, so am I doing this right? Am I doing it too deep, too shallow? Don't know. We're doing it, right? you got to charge ahead. You want to use a certain amount of planning, but you can't have analysis paralysis. You've got to charge ahead and do something. Like my father used to say, do something even if it's wrong. <laughs> like my father used to say, do something even if it's wrong. But my father was born in 1924, Hickory County, Missouri. So, you, so this is like my roots, you know? <laughs> it's like my... My grandparents were born in the 1890s or 1900, two of them were. My parents were both born in 1924, Hickory County, Missouri. So this is like my ethnic, you know, my roots outfit here, you know. I wear it just for convenience, but after I bought it, the overalls, I realized it is, it's like a Scotsman wearing his kilt, right? <laughs> you wearing my overalls. Yeah, just show that down there. Isn't that nice? Isn't that nice? Ah. Did I rip that along the side good enough? I guess I did. So it didn't even rip it on the rip it on. Okay. Now we need to water. And I guess we're going to use the watering can because the garden hose is way up there. I don't think it'll reach. I know I could hook up the garden hose. I'm going to film me hooking up the garden hose to the other garden hose and run it as far as we can up here. Might as well do that, I guess. So you got a new memory card on there. That's good. Or a different card. Is it not proprietary or what is it? Is it not a Sony brand or is it a Sony brand? No, it's, I think it's SanDisk. Oh, but it works. Okay. And it, just sh it shows video recording, huh? Yep. It says recording 8 minutes and 21 seconds. Wow. First, I look at my, I, I want to know how my hat looks. My hat probably looks black. No. <laughs> but see, that's good prepper stuff, too. You take a white towel, the white reflects the sunlight, right? Sew it across. You absorb the cotton. 100% cotton absorbs the sweat. Not a bad idea. <laughs> it is practical. <coughs> Prepper ideas, in my opinion, but you do look at it. Get this over to that hose. Let's see how far it reaches. It may reach all the way to the bottom. We don't have one of those in the back? No, I looked I looked around this house recently. Well back, I looked and <coughs> research. I couldn't find any faucet anywhere in this house except this one right here. Isn't that something? <laughs> one faucet right next to the front door. That's it. That is it, period. I thought that was really interesting, but that's all I could find. Wait, get out of the way and I'll, I'll put this behind the bush, right? Struggle. 
How about that? How about that? Oh, it's a dirty average. I'm going to go turn it on. Oh. If you don't have a spray, so that's good prepper good stuff. You have a sprayer? There's your adjustment. <laughs> Put a kink in it, and that adjusts the flow, right? <laughs> that adjusts your flow. You, you don't want to blast craters in it, so... I can cool off my arms now. Ah, oh. ah, oh. this is good to cool off the arms. Wipe off the rinse off the dirt. Gosh, it feels better. Ah, oh. yes. If you're doing your garden, make sure you rinse yourself off. <laughs> you survive, you know. Survival. Everything's about survival. You gotta survive. Mosquitoes getting you out. The mosquitoes are circling. Darn it. Ah. Oh, oh no, it's trying to die. You have any last words? Oh, okay, well, we'll talk to you later. Remember, Smarter Prepping with Big Jack. <laughs>